Checking in, I'm waiting for y'all to check in, more to check in. Get my number, I'll begin to speak. Some of y'all not gonna like this. Hello to everybody checking in, my royal family. You know how we do it on this channel right here. On this page, I keep it funky, all the way funky. And sugarcoat nothing. We getting lied to our entire lives, so. It's time to tell the truth. We get to seven, my number, and we're going to make it happen, okay? Yo, y'all, tired too. I'm going to check it, check it, check it. Check in with Chef MD. Get ready to dive deep. Y'all ready to dive in these waters? Some of y'all be scared. Some of y'all not gonna like it. But I want y'all to share, share, share. Because I'm about to tell you guys something about me that um, only told one person yesterday for the first time. Show y'all how. Some, some things that y'all do and say damaging your own children. Okay, now I'm at seven. Let me get ready to talk. First of all, I want to teach some of you women how to go from being a baby mama, baby mammy, and vibrate higher into a child's mother or children mother, okay? Now... All of us are products of our environment, how we was raised, things we, you know, saw, who we hung around. We're all impressions of everyone because we're all one. We're all connected to one source. So, as a child, we learn our most as a child. Like, I think it's up to like age three or five. Somebody could correct me with the correct information. Your brain is like a sponge. So, we grow up with our guides, our parents, our, our guides to our journey. You know, our first teachers, our first heroes, who we want to be like. So, we watch them and they watch everything we do, whether we know it or not. Because I've been ear hustling probably since the age of four years old. Hey, Kava. I've been ear hustling my parents' conversation. I've just been... Highly in tune with everything, everybody, vibration, emotions, everything as a small kid. And I knew at a young age, I was in a, had a fucked up household, you know, and how to cope and how to protect my young brothers and sisters or whatever. When they used to get the thumping in that house, you know, all because they chose each other. Mary, you know, the first time they had sex, they created me. So it was like a forced marriage. See, back in the day. You had to marry who you got pregnant. So people didn't get to take the time to know each other. You know, didn't take the time to date or date multiple people so you can see who is for you. A lot of us put all our eggs in one basket. You know, me, I just, I've always dated on what's the lessons we got to learn from each other. It was no, ooh, ooh, straight in high school. Oh, I'm going to get married to you all. Now, if I would have got that feeling as part of my journey, my mission, I would have done that. But watching our parents, because I'm a parent. Hey, Regina. Watching, I'm a parent, you know, to all the parents. And I always say it's two different types of everything. It's duality. Everything comes in two. So two, you got the baby mammy, baby mama, you have the child mother, the children mother. It's two different behaviors. Most typical baby mothers, and you can be married 
and be a baby mother. Because my mother was a baby mother. Number one, when we have our seeds, we are the first protectors and provider. Providers, excuse me guys, of men. So, you have children with a man. The relationship didn't work. Okay. We all have lessons. Your lessons is how you get your blessings. You got to think bigger than what you know, what you think you know. So, you turn around. You make a child. It, you may, it may have all been good or whatever up to the baby was born or whatever. However, your situation ended. It ended. So, you have this baby. And, um... Even to folks that's married and get divorces or whatever. It's still baby, mom, baby, whoever. Everybody got a story. But it's wrong for us women. Now, I don't do it. I keep it funky with my children. Because it's four sides to a story. My side, their side, the truth, and the lie. Come on now. Everybody got a story. It intertwines when you got children. But I'm not going to sit up here and bash the father of my child, children, whatever, in front of the child that y'all made out of love. It could have been the love of a five-minute hit it and quit it. Drunken nights in a bar. It was something that you love, the size of the penis. But if the relationship didn't work, you have no right as a woman to speak ill will ill will about your children's father, father, I however. You have no right. None whatsoever because a lot of us damage our children and they go to school and they got behavior problems and all that. And they living in a house with the number one worst enemy. If the queen ain't right, the house ain't right. You need balance. We're the women. Why would you get mad at a man that you chose. Keep in mind that you chose. And you talk mad crazy. In front of the seeds that y'all. Sold and planted together. In a night of passion. All of a sudden. Because the relationship didn't work for you. Or for him. Or for whichever reason. It was a lesson you had to learn. To get your blessing. Your blessing was that child. So for any of y'all. I want to make you think about something. Your child ain't even about you. The child blood is of that father, his legacy. He don't have to take care of you, pay your bills. Child support is for that child. Why can y'all not put some money in the bank for that child? Why you got to get your hair and nails and feet and everything done and y'all children out here looking like shit? Why? I'm a woman. My mother damaged me. So I'm going to tell y'all, I just now forgave my mother. I had to tell my children, a lot of y'all that shot with me, y'all know I go hard on my kids, right? I had to have a talk with them last night, and that inspired me for this video right here, right here. Whew. And I had to I had to get high before I even came on because it's just like I had to exhale it out and breathe. Because this is real what I do. I teach you guys how to heal. You can skip some steps or make you think. If it touched one person, that's all it was supposed to do. Because this ain't for everybody. Because every woman ain't going to like it. But I want me and everybody to share this. Because I don't take sides. I love to be a Libra. And I'm a damn Cancer. My ox. I love balance. So when rocky shit come my way, it ain't finna penetrate me if it ain't no penis. So... Deborah Ann Edwards, my mother, damaged me. And this is how. And how I can shoot this video is from my experience as being a child. Because we was all children, okay? This is why the generation, every generation getting worse and worse and worse. This is why Toys R Us is out of business. It's tablets and fucking Takis and no time with your children. And talking shit about your kid's father, okay? When my mother and my father separated... She's from Memphis. He's from Michigan. So she was like, I remember we watched the movie, The Burning Bed. And it was like in the early 90s because we moved. It was 1992 to be exact. We moved that same year. 
So she came to us and she was like, I'm going to do y'all father like burning bed. So who want to vote to go to Memphis? Well, I'm going to kill y'all daddy, basically. So I looked and I thought about just all the years that they've been fighting ever since I was born. As far as I can remember. So um, I'm like, damn, well, I love both of them because even though they were fight, they took, they did not change the way I felt about my father. I just was like, if a dude ever touched me, I'm a dead in your ass other than that. And then I could see the shit my mama was doing and the shit he was doing. Both of them was wrong. They was just together because they created me. It was a forced marriage out of a one. It probably should have just been a fucking one night stand. You never know. I probably already be a billionaire. <laughs> but you got to do what's best for the children. And they did not do what was best. So she come to us and was like, I'm going to do y'all father like Bernie Bear. We need to go vote. Who want to go to Memphis? So. Whew. I was like, I did not want to leave Kalamazoo and move here, but I, I'm glad I did, okay? So, we voted. I remember I was like, let's go to uh, Memphis because I know all the years they get into it and they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, shit, pack us up, jump on the Greyhound, run. We don't been in like... Um, Abuse women's shelters and everywhere just running for my father. You know, I remember one time she was in beauty school and um, he hit on the eye so hard. Her eye was so big and she was just wearing shades in the classroom and stuff. It's just like I come from a real abusive household. And I always say this can't be no fucking traditional um, marriage. That's why I'm, I'm not traditional at all. I don't believe in none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I do know that I was made from love and they created magic. So that keeps me going, 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 dreaming big, you know, cause they had to love shit. They could have just love busting a nut together, <laughs> but I know I was made from love of the pussy. That's why I do what I do now or whatever. Love of the penis. My father was sexual chocolate. My mother red bone. I'm here. Okay. So I'm here to do something. It's a purpose for all of us. So all this fighting and fighting and we're going to go to Memphis because I'm going to kill y'all father. So we here. We move here. My mother get here, start another relationship with this guy who was sleeping with everybody. And um, she ended up passing from AIDS in 2001. So I noticed when we moved here, like she was the best mother in the world. Oh my, like in Kalamazoo, she was just the best. As we moved here, I was 13. And I guess I was looking too much like my father. So she would take all her anger out on me and call me names. It just wouldn't be. I just never felt good enough, you know, and that's my own mother. And that's like the worst fucking feeling in the world. You know, this this is a woman like how you go from ooh, 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 ooh. And then all your anger and frustration and everything come out on me. And then you talk so bad about our father. And it was like, I never, even when he punched, when I, the first memory I have of my father um, abusing my mother is um, when my, she was pregnant with my sister Yolanda. And he pushed her down the stairs, a flight of stairs. And then after that, it's just boom, 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 boom. Now I was two years old now when that happened. So. That's crazy as hell. You know, doing all this stuff and your children, they picking up on it. They're going to be just like you or worse than you out here in these streets. You cannot talk bad about that man in front of these children. I don't care who you are, what kind of fucking excuse. You are strong enough. If you provided for a boy, don't sit up here and say, because a king once told me, and it made me think, because I love somebody to challenge me. Challenge my mental. And I was like, dang, you know, I can't raise no boy into no man. That's a fucking lie, yo. And what he said, what he said was, yes, you can. And I was like, damn. And it made me think when we're still man's first protector and provider. And here you go. And you look in Black Panther movie. Who was on the defense line? The queens. You are female. Two. Duality. You have a penis. It just didn't come out. It's your clitoris. <laughs> it's your baby dick. That's what I call it. So all I'm saying is. 
you got to be strong. No matter how bad my mother damaged me and, and I go so hard. People are like, how you constantly creating stuff? I never knew until the other day. I'm going to say about maybe last Tuesday it hit me. Yeah, why do you go so hard? Because I never felt good enough. I never felt worthy. That comes from a mother. Hey, cousin. That comes from a mother. I mean, the mental abuse. My father. That lady talks so bad about that man. And I even, you know, like. I remember, you know, all of us was fast. Oh, you're going to be a whore just like your father. I'm talking about the worst verbal abuse. And then me in return, when I would date, I don't verbally abuse men. My mouth is reckless, but I tame my mouth now because nobody deserves that because that rubbed off on me. You got to, we got to watch because our children watch you. They're watching. So, women, I want to tell you guys this right here. Hey, Amora, do not. I don't care what, because you chose that man. You got kids with a man. All that stuff, all that child's worth this. Don't you know that your child not going to remember how many Jordans or all that stuff. Your child going to remember the time. Because in the end, when it's your time to transition out of this physical realm, your kids... They're going to remember the time. Some of y'all mad at these men, kids ain't seen their father. And I don't know whatever, if he a crackhead or whatever. My father did every drug in the United States of America. But he always kept that shit funky. And one thing I can say is that I got a chance to talk to him. And I get his side of the story. And they never should have been together. Both of them cheated, made children outside of the marriage and everything. So it's just like nobody took the time to love us enough to say. Don't you. Now, my father told us not to never date a man like him. Hey, Linda, to never date a man like him, date better than him. But he did sit us down. Everything he was doing, pulling up with his sideline holes in the driveway, everything he was doing, he made sure he pulled us to the side. And he was like, also, no, it ain't no such thing as a perfect man. But when you get that man, you're going to know. You're going to feel it. You're going to know that arrival, and you need to be ready. That's how you can see these rich women, maybe dating like Phaedra Parks. She was dating the dude from uh, in prison. Y'all don't understand those type of connections because your mind only see what you think you see. Because you don't want to still eat right. Vibrate higher. Stop hanging out with toxic people. Stop doing toxic shit to your body. Quit eating the white sugar. Get you some sugar cane. Stop drinking the cow milk. And get you some almond milk. Some fucking cashew milk. You don't want to do the soul work. How does your soul look? Have you asked your soul? How do you feel? Do you get up in the morning and say, this is how I get up. How can I serve today? I'm a fucking servant for the creator. What new? What I need to learn today? Show me something I need new in, in my life. We are accountable for thyself. And none of y'all children don't deserve to hear y'all talk bad about ex-husband, children. They don't deserve that. Let your children live a life because I went through life and it's a lot of shit I probably had to go through. If my mama did not verbally abuse me and make me feel like I wasn't good enough or she hated my father so much and I looked so much like my father, then hell, she hated me. And you know what's crazy? I had, like me, I'm the type of person, when I cut you off, I don't deal with you. Blood, whoever. Because you got strangers to treat you better than your own fucking family. So with me, I don't get too attached because we all going. Like I love everybody. My kids, it, it hurts me when we go up, when we leave out of here, but I don't allow myself to get too attached to anybody because I'm... I'm going to leave here one day. And that's how I live my life. And that's how I'm able to not hook. Because I did 10 years of depression after my mom passed away. Because it was so many things that I wanted to say. I wanted to say a lot. From me getting raped to why was I not protected. I, it took me so long and I just forgave her, y'all, last week. I remember the perfect mother when she was with my father. Then I remember... I remember the goddess. Then I turn around, I can remember the devil because we are two. We are God and the devil. 
when you vibrate low, when you gossiping, when you out here hating, when you doing malicious shit, you the devil. When you vibrating your highest frequency, when you looking good, self-loving yourself, self-worth, my mother took away my self-worth and I had to go, uh, and I pushed, pushing, investing so many people, investing and believing and believing, believing and pushing and pushing. Y'all know how much strength it took me to just tell y'all this little story, but I'm going to tell y'all that because I'm a gorilla. And if I didn't believe in me, I'd be broken. Probably you get women on the side of the road smoking, cracking, prostitution. We don't know what people go through in their life, but some of us want to sit up and judge. You know, and don't want to face the reality. It didn't work with my kids, father. It didn't work with my husband. Because it may be another husband right around the fucking corner. But you so busy damaging your seeds and they from you. This is man bloodline. Child support fucking crazy. Ain't spend no money on the fucking children. But you looking like a billion dollars. And the kids, I do not like it. And I don't approve of it. This will make me damn near want to be the president. The fucking mayor. Like, I feel like I got so many hats. I need a hundred more years here. Because I will cut it. I will make you every woman. If I was sitting on any board. I wouldn't give y'all asses nothing. That's honest. Like, get out here and get it. Too many of y'all want to stay and be on this welfare, all this Section 8 shit for the rest of your life. Ain't trying to level up. Ain't trying to take care of yourself. And then your kids go to school and you send them to school thinking the teacher's supposed to teach them when you're the first teacher. I'm disgusted. So whoever need to hear this, need to hear it. It was meant for me. And I had to tell my kids, I go hard on y'all. And I broke down and I was crying. I'm not going to cry today because it don't hurt no more. When you cry, you feel like you want to cry. Cry. Release. That's a release and that's healing. Don't never. Man, the men, y'all can cry too. I don't know who told y'all it's not okay for y'all to cry. Quit crying internal tears. Them heart attacks. My kid's father. It'll be a year this year. April 22nd, he passed away. Crying internal tears. Let that shit out because any man I'm with, if you need to fucking cry, here go my shoulder. I'm not going to be a super bitch when you come to house and it's hard for y'all out here in these streets. And it's easy because a woman can go get welfare, food stamps, Section 8. All I want is peace and to stay away from bullshit. When y'all see me shoot these videos, I'm by myself. I swear 99% of the time because I can't be around no women talking shit about their baby daddy. People wonder why I don't want to kick it with them. You gossiping about this woman, that woman, and we all sisters from one big ass pussy called the galaxy in the sky. I can't sit around hatred. I don't do hatred. I love love. I'm a cancer. One of the most loving, loyal signs in the whole entire zodiac. So you cross me. It ain't no crossing back over. I only give you one chance to try to fuck me. And if you literally ain't fuck me, when you're fucking me, you got three. And it's a wrap. And I give you three because that's my life path number. If it was number one, you'd be fucked. <laughs> Everybody else, you get one time with me. Because when I was giving, and that's, that's 2018 answer. See, it's been, oh, I give you multiple chances. Multiple chances. And in the end, I got to rebuild. I got to cry on why I got to cut this motherfucker out. This, 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 that. Nah, I ain't got time for that. I got too much work to do. I need to reserve my energy to make y'all pussy so popping so. Get ready to fly around the world. Get ready to go to the jails. Get ready to go. I'm finna get ready to go back to school. To become a, a spiritual psychologist. So I got too much stuff to be doing because it's so many damaged people. It's more damaged people. And believe it or not, it's more loyal people. Whether y'all believe that or not. Because I kicks it with them. I can feel the vibration. But women, don't ever, don't ever do that. Think about your child. Do not talk bad because you chose that man. You chosen that child will not be here that child is your blessing and your lesson is whatever went wrong go and forgive that man start by forgiving yourself first okay because men whether y'all know it or not let me put y'all up on some game right quick and it's from a conscious a spiritually conscious sister okay 
This all the ones with perms and everything else don't understand this. What's going on right now? Men pick up your vibration. My father taught us this. When you insecure and you low and you don't, I don't, I don't care what size you are, because I know women own up there and carry themselves like Beyonce with pure confidence. And y'all, some of y'all skinny women are looking all fine and all this. Y'all walk past a sister looking good, smelling good, this plus size with a nice ass king. And he can be ripped. A trail pack. And some of y'all sit back because I don't hurt. I don't bend with some some women. And it's a new moon out there. No, no wonder I'm shooting this. Because you know I'm the moon, guys. I ain't even know Linda. Thank you. You walk past with your hatred like, how she get him? How she get him? She fat as hell. You want to know why? That confidence swag, baby. She vibrating higher as hell. And probably can do splits and you can't. And she got that crispy cream glaze in between her thighs. That's part of my, when I was 285, you know, that little wet, wet net juice. She got what you don't get. Confidence. You can be the baddest, the finest, the fattest ass. But that vibration can be low as hell. You can have on all the little Richard Pancake 65 makeup. They read your vibration and they're going to play you exactly how you feel. You feel fat and ugly, they're going to fuck you fat and ugly and fuck you over. So change this. Open up this. Drink your warm lemon water in the morning like I told you. Meditate. Breathe and fucking believe. Encourage yourself. Don't be looking for no team. I got, I'm my number one cheerleader. Told y'all how I wake up. I'm DJ Cali. I'm DJ Cali. Angela, we the best. Notice what I'm saying? We, because it's two. The you that you see in the mirror, and that spark in your eye. That is your goddess. When that light go out, you go out. Next level of life. So now, some can see why they can't sit with me until your, you raise that vibration. Hell no, nah, I can't go to no club with you. I don't do no clubs. Now, if I got a king and he want to go dancing... Yeah, that's my king. We're on the same vibrational wavelength. I'm not finna sit in no lower seat. Nobody will ever force me to sit low. This queen on her goddamn throne. And I comes down when I want to come down. Now, it's a part of being an ascendant master of thyself. Now, I can meet you down there, but I can't bring you up. Like I had a young lady... Uh, one of my um, well, you back to it's associate friend. Then my friends turn into my sisters, but I call all of us sisters. But in my personal life, that is my arrangement. I give folks, I just feed folks information. It can be true or false, just to see what type of position. What what's your role in my life? What's your purpose? What's your intentions of me? I check everybody at the door. Everybody can't sit with me. Everybody can't eat with me. When you understand that, that's how a lot of folks will be alive right now. You get robbed because you're inside. You going on a spiritual test with me. Hell no. Nah. I'm not for everybody. Everybody not for me. But them prod my products are though. <laughs> Raise that vibration, queens. Get your stuff together. You wonder why. Here's another one for you. You're not going to like this. Because I'm just only telling y'all from experience, baby. Hmm, was I once a baby mother? Let me go check right quick. I gotta go back and you know. No. Only thing I've done was tell my ch uh, children, you guys will see. I can tell y'all my side of the story and why... You know, I'm not together with y'all fathers, okay? The number one reason was it was hard. Like, I'm the type of person, I'm my number one cheerleader, I always have been. No matter what, even when I was homeless, I knew, like, oh, one day, one day, I could always see my castle. So, if you can see it, it's there. You just gotta grow up and get there. Like, I'm already in Hollywood. Hollywood waiting for me to catch up. You gotta envision. Boom. 
Everything starts with a mental picture, okay, of yourself. But you got to ask for your purpose because we're all purposeful. It's not meant for you to go to work every day then die. That's not your fucking life. It's not meant. Get out of here, Dallas. It's not meant for you to work 40 hours a week for the rest of your fucking life and die. Maybe you may take one or two vacations. Man, this foundation I'm laying. The rest of my life going to be a fucking vacation. To help bless back like Drake video. He walking up the street handing out money. Give it back. You cannot. Don't be holding tight on no money. You holding tight. You got to recycle. You got to spend that check and get it right back. You got to fucking believe. I bless the money. Get money from me. I hope you get it back ten times. Don't be afraid. Step outside of what you think you know. Read. I'm going to forever get mad at y'all. The new shop. I'm petty as hell. I'm going to have on there custom decals. Reading is fundamental. Have you read a book today? I'm going to, I'm, I'm petty chef. Because folks don't want to read. And then you come on the video and watch me like, what the hell is she talking about? It was one young lady. I, I get to read some of the comments sometimes. And she was like, I had her up at three o'clock in the morning read about Kundalini alignments. And it was so cute. I didn't even get to reply to her. I got to find that message. But that's what I love. When I tell you guys to look up something and you go and you read it i got a lady gonna tell me she don't go to church no more because of me but i'm like lady i want to try to stop you from going to church i just wanted you to you know to this and she like she was reading 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 she didn't put no perm on her hair no more because the perm is giving you guys the ovarian cyst it all of the endometriosis all of this you we give it to ourselves we give it to ourselves. So give your children their life back. If you are one of those mothers, because you're still a queen, you just maybe nobody never told you. Maybe you saw your mother do your father like that. We are we're all damaged. But somebody has to break the fucking cycle. The cycle can't keep going on. That's why our people behind now. Nobody don't want to stand up. Well, what I'm leaving with my children, why I go hard on them and why I told them. It's because I never felt good enough because of what my mother made me feel like. Y'all need to think about that. Because if I wasn't strong, if I wasn't built strong because the bloodline I come from. Man, I, I don't know where I would be. If I listen to what people say, that's why what people say about, they talk about me. You can do things to me. It don't hurt me. Because the, the worst pain, I already felt the worst pain that I could feel. Is a feel like your mama never loved you. Okay? So anybody I ever meet in my life, and I meet a lot of people with mother issues. Y'all don't understand how some of y'all women have fucked y'all children up. They go to jail and all this. Oh, it's your fault. It's your fault. Because I'm going to tell y'all like this. Both of my parents have transitioned. My mother, 2001. My father, 2008. And my father was my best fucking friend, yo. It hurt worse. The lady who hurt me, when she left, my mind went all the way back to a wound, a fetal. It was the worst pain of, I don't remember, three years of my life after that situation. Three years of my life, I got a whole block. And I'm trying to open up that portal. Cause something happened to me in them three years. I I don't know. I'm working with uh, hypnotherapy right now because I want to unlock them three years and why the hell I got them blocked. So you should want to know stuff about you. You've been in any kind of trauma or anything happened to you in your childhood. Start releasing that shit. That's how you heal. Quit trying to be with a man if you know you've been molested and all this stuff. Heal that shit. Quit being the bag lady. Me and some of y'all are bag men. Backpacks or whatever the hell. Shit, some of y'all bag ladies. But hell, hey, 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 you got to heal. You got to heal. Like the friend I try to, well, associate I try to have around me, gave her all the tools. Even gave her some of my free little psychic capabilities that she didn't even know. And she thought that by going to the spiritual store with me one time, she was instantly healed. You you do the little work. People, I'm, I'm working on myself daily. This ain't no you graduate the next day. That shit from, from the 80s I'm still healing about. 
So you don't just go. You healing is all the way until you transition. Want to be the, the best you you can be. Every five minutes. I want to be the best Angela I was five minutes ago. Always want to be the best for yourself. And the best for yourself is when you had children, it's no longer about you. Hell no, you can't go get no fucking thousand dollar Brazilian. And your babies got on pay less special. Okay, that's okay. As long as they got shoes. If it ain't about that, I'm just saying though. When you have a child, children, it's about the children first. You get a divorce, okay. Do not fuck your kids over and let them just be out here. And then they got to get married. They got to be somebody, whoever. I'm raising somebody's husbands. I'm raising somebody's wives. Come on now. And I'm still raising my damn self. Because when you start feeling like you old, you start looking like you old. <laughs> so guess what? I guess I feel sweet 16 for life. I ain't trying to get them wrinkles. All I want to say is that I co-create with the creator. And that's how I'm healing myself. I forgive my mother. My father, it took me a minute. I forgave him as well, you know. Because I asked him um, one day, and he came to me in a Reiki session. And um, I was asking him why do I get this in particular person, you know, chance after chances. It was like, because your mother gave me so many chances. And if he would have took them and did it right, I'd never be here in Memphis. But if I didn't come here... You want, I wouldn't have met my twin flame. So, hey, it is what it is, you know. So, you got to always want to better yourself. Knowledge is power. And you guys need to really read. And I'm going to say once again, for the ones who come on my page and don't read how to book a Yoni Steam, it clearly has at the top of my page as soon as you click on here. I don't understand, and I'm still trying to figure out right now, how is it that you land on a whole damn page and don't see book now? If somebody can explain that to me and show that to me. Ooh, we well, you must they must they must be looking from that uh the first computer I remember from the 80s with the green screen with the little block. Gotta be, because I'm just like, wow. Um I have an event to attend tomorrow, so my shop will be closed. Wednesday I'll be back open. Yeah, Wednesday. From one to seven. I'm not doing eight no more because uh uh the way my eyeballs be set up. Mm-mm. No. Um, but we need to get our shit together. I'm working on me daily. I'm not perfect by a long shot. Nobody is. I'm working on being a full 80%. Right now, I'm probably about at 76%. And when I get to the 80%, that's maintenance, babe. You got to up, keep it. Want to know who the fuck you are. So the young lady who asked about if you watch it, what kind of milk? The first thing I said was Google, didn't I? But I answered your question. It's nothing. I'm not your damn Google. What I am is a spiritual OG to give you a video like this, give you some products so you won't kill yourself with this BS. And then I feel like I need to invent a natural perm, a organic perm. I ain't going to do it. That's for somebody out there. Come out with a real perm since they don't want to let go to crack his whack. So, hey. You don't need a perm. A Brazilian blowout. Uh-huh. I love being natural. I love my nappy edges and all. They feel good to me. At least I can pop them going. I ain't got to have no curling iron. I ain't got ooh, 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 ooh. I ain't got put on no pancake 65. I just draw on these eyebrows, which I'm finna get them permanently done, but... I'm up and go. I like natural. I ain't knocking nobody. But quit having these brothers thinking you look this type of way and you all contour it up. And then when that makeup come out, because you know now, and depending on what kind of sex you having, you wake up to a whole dude. Just come on. We got to be real with ourselves. You know, let your face fucking breathe sometimes. It's okay. Because I kind of slick want to learn how to do makeup, but not have it all thick and on every goddamn day. Breathe. Your pores need to breathe. Breathe. You say you got a uh, free stay Wednesday. Yep. Come on in. It says Wednesday. 
But I'm so glad you know how to press book now because you already booked yours. But you already know just do a walk in. You see what I'm talking about? And I love everyone I've been meeting, and I thank y'all for y'all support. I thank y'all. I, I am. I'm st still waiting on supplies. But yeah, I have some um, hemp oil. I got a lot of stuff uh, that I've been that I made today. So I'm reeing up. I feel like I need to make twenty thousand bars of my pussy so popping so <laughs> I'm so weak I'm so tired of making that freaking soap and then uh when I come back in town I'm gonna uh, um make some more products and I start posting some things or whatever um tonight but I thank you guys for everything share this video cause there's some women that ain't gonna like it I don't give a damn cause you need to look in that mirror cause when you look up in that mirror Oh, that when you first got to look at yourself and do your usher confessions to yourself. Do I got to do the club pose with the uh, hair and bone chunk? So I'm not going to like that. When you look in the mirror, be like, I was talking bad to myself at first. Now, now I talk nice. It's like, what's your fucking problem, Angel? That's how he's been a fucking problem, Angel. Why you always doing this? So I'm not knowing when I'm talking to myself. I'm finna get a real answer. I'm like, boom. Always hit me on that left ear. Loud and clearly. And then I just started solving things and just going back to my natural self. Go back to yourself when you play with your um, invisible friends, a.k.a. ancestors. You know, when uh, they be like an angel was here, a.k.a. your ancestors. Come on now. Go back to that when you, your innocence, your childlike state. Never forget. Don't let your inner kid die. My inner kid play every day. Because when a lot of y'all look older than what y'all are, I'm finna be 40. And damn it, I think I look good as fuck. Because you forget about your inner child. And when you forget about your inner child, when you get all, oh, your whole life born, just work, work, no play. And you start sounding like money bag, yo. Uh, 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 uh. That's when you get them goddamn wrinkles. I'm finna be young the rest. I promise you I can keep this face right here looking like this. I already asked the creator, can I go with 88? So I plan on this face looking like this to 88. Now I might, I need to quit doing, making them face because I, you know, but I'm going to create something for that as well. I got little serums for everything. I love you guys. I'm not going to talk you guys to death, but you got to want to go from being because all of us are royalty. Just taking a nap, sleeping on ourselves, third eye, you know, trying to activate, but you want to eat junk and shit and you just stay asleep your entire life and you will work all the way and then die. Two or three vacations, a little fun. Well, when you were to ask for your purpose, what is my purpose for being here? What's my journey? What am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to serve? Who can I help today? What do I need to learn new? What do I need to read today? What do I need to write down? Who do I need to release? What do I need to release? Who do I need to be around? Ask for your whole total alignment. Like your kundalini. Instead of saying, ooh, I want to go down to the casino. Uh, I want to do this. Manifest. Oh, I want to manifest being the first person in the Jordan line to get to Jordan's. Dumb shit. Ignorance. Stop it. And I always start with African Americans. African, Africans don't have these issues. But we're all African at the end of the night. And all of us mixed up. All of us. White, black, Indian. It goes all the way back to when the world was black. At the end of the night. We're the mothers of civilization. So start acting like. It. And quit littering on mother nature. Quit throwing littering shit on the ground. Stop it, mother nature. Be kind to her as well. That's why we have all these storms and shit. Y'all around here throwing paper every goddamn where. That or harp. You don't know about harp? Google harp. Okay? So, that's what I do. Here, read, and continue to be the thug looking nerd that I am. <laughs> they see the tattoos and be like, oh my God. But mostly all chefs love tattoos. That's what we do. I got a whole mixer on my arm because can't nobody in Memphis or in the world fuck with me in bacon. 
That's just me. Hey, might as well claim it. Gonna be cocky, go all the way with it. <laughs> That's your confidence, though, baby. Can't nobody in the world fuck with me on bacon. That's how you do. Instead of trying to compete with the next woman, know who you are. And this is the last thing I'm gonna say. When I found myself work, y'all finna see what's finna happen. I found my fucking network. And it's billions. How much are you worth? And did you save by switching to my channel on here on my page? Hey, something to think about. Fuck Geico. <laughs> <laughs> all right i love you guys see you all later peace love and light and you too old to try to fight fight the power that be within thee before you try to fight other people's power you ain't got no power over nobody but your goddamn self you don't have control over nobody but your goddamn self all i'm gonna do is hypnotize you with the truth because Black women, all color women, but us, number one, do some foul as dirty, petty shit. I'm a product of my environment, and I push shit out. I get pregnant with that shit, and I birth product. I didn't have to go smoke no crack like my fucking father chose to do, and he worked at the Pentagon, and you would have never knew. He didn't look like no regular jockey. I come from an educated family. Salute.